Take a look at this. I have my site open here. And if I resize the browser like this, you'll notice that the left, right, and bottom sections of the site stay perfectly in place. Meanwhile, the main content like images, text, and buttons remains centered in the layout at all times. Now, you can add any elements in these containers and it will still work. Also, no matter what the screen size is, the containers hold their designated positions, creating a premium experience for your viewers. This is a great example of advanced sticky containers. And in this video, we'll see how to make this. To make the layout easier to understand, I've created a wireframe of my site to show you how to create and assign containers for various elements. This will be your first step in the process. As you can see, I've divided the design into multiple containers. In the center, there's a black box for the text, description, CTA, and media content like an image or a video. While the purple containers on the left and right are designated for social media icons or other visual elements. Below that, there's a green section for the banner. And let's not forget the elephant in the room, the white area. And we are not going to touch it. Let's call this a safe margin for a wireframe. Creating this wireframe is pretty simple. But to get everything right, you need to be precise when adding values to the settings from the advanced tab. Alright, first go to the top and click this gear icon. And it will open up this setting. Then. From this drop down, choose this option. Now let's see how to make the wireframe. On the fresh canvas, add a new container by clicking this plus button and choosing this. Then change the container width to full width. Go to advanced and remove margins and padding. Okay, I wanna name this container. So I'll turn on the navigator from here and change the name to background. Now let's add another container inside this. I'll do that quickly. All right, to get two containers side by side, let's duplicate two more times. And again, go to the navigator and name them left, middle, and right. To decrease the size of the left and right columns, select the left column and change the width to this. For clarity, let's change the color to purple. To apply the same changes to the right one, let's copy the style from left container and paste it on the right one. All right, we are almost there. Now to change the size of the middle container, select it and put this in the width setting. All right, now to fix the placement error, just select the main container and justify the content to space between. Awesome, to increase the height of these containers, select the main container, go to height settings, then change it to VH and put this value. Okay, for the bottom container, add another container, go here and change it to full width, remove padding and margins, then go to height and put this value here. We'll go to the Style tab, change the color to this for clarity. All right, now let's see if the entire wireframe is responsive. Looks great to me. Okay, the foundation is built. Now we just need to add elements to it. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because... Okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my side speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Now we just need to add elements to it. So make sure whatever you do, never add elements directly into this container. Add a new one inside this, then customize it accordingly. I'll add a new container for the header, which I'll create from scratch. But before that, let me show you how to add text and image in the black box. So I'll add a new container change the height and adjust it like this. For the content, I'll add yet another container. As there will be two sections inside this, one for text and one for image, I'll right click and duplicate like this. Let's quickly rename them from here 
and from the style tab change colors for clarity. I will resize the left container by dragging this line and done. Okay, creating a header is optional, so I won't show you that. Let's directly jump to the main section. To add stuff to the left container, select it, make it transparent from the style tab and change the direction to this. Then drag in a heading widget and a CTA button. Let's do the same for the remaining part. Select it, make it transparent and then drag in an image widget here. Okay, now you know the drill. We will use the left panel to customize these and it should look like this. Now let's quickly fill the left and the right column. Again, first select the container. Make it transparent from the style tab and then drag in the social media widget. Then customize it from the left and change margins if needed. Likewise, I'll fill the right section and the bottom section. And this is how it looks. So let's finalize the design for mobile and tablet devices to make sure it looks great everywhere. First, I'll switch to the tablet and mobile layouts. You'll notice that the left and right section are grayed out. That's because I've set them to be hidden on these devices. You can do this too by selecting a container, going to advanced settings and opening the responsive tab. From here, you can choose to hide or show specific sections on mobile or tablet. It's entirely up to you and your design preferences. Once you've adjusted everything, and there you have it. Your design now adapts perfectly to any screen size. Preview your design in a new tab to see how it looks. I'll resize the window to see if it's responsive. Yeah, looks fine to me. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.